Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com, and in this video, we are going to go ahead and set up our droid class for Pocket Droids Go. Droids are going to be our collectible and capturable entities in this game, so they have a really important role, but it's going to be really easy to implement them. We are going to go ahead and right click on our models directory, and we're going to create a new folder and call it droids. And then inside of droids, we're going to go ahead and create a C sharp script. And we're just going to name that droid. Let's double click and head into our IDE. So for the droid class, we're going to need five variables. First, we'll do serialized field, private, float, spawn rate. And let's just set that to 0.1 F to begin with. And then we'll need serialize field private float catch rate equals 0 0.10 F as a default. And then serialize field private int attack equals 0. Serialize field private int defense equals 0. And serialize field private int HP equals, we'll set this to 10 for starters. Now we'll just need to set some getters for all of these. <sighs> so spawn rate, catch rate, attack, fence, and HP. And we can get rid of start and update at this point. We don't really need them. We will, however, need a function of on mouse down. And for now, this function is going to be empty. We're not going to do anything with it. But we are going to set a collider on our droid so that when they are tapped, we can catch that and use it to go into the capture screen. As far as the code goes, we are done with the droid class. So let's save that and swap back into Unity. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the assets that we have provided for us. And I'm going to drag both of these droids into the droids directory. And now that we've got our pre-generated models, let's go to the prefab for droid one. And we're just going to drag this droid script onto it. And then we will do the exact same thing for droid two and just drag the droid script on there. And at the moment, we're not really doing much with the spawn rate, catch rate, attack, any of these statistics. At the moment, they're just kind of there to show us how a class like this typically works. Because we have our spawn rate, which is how often they spawn, which typically goes through an algorithm to decide what object should be spawning when we use our factory. We are, however, going to need to add that collider I talked about. So let's go ahead and drag our Droid1 prefab out onto the scene. and. That's kind of huge, and I don't know why it's pre-scaled to 100. Go ahead and shrink that guy down, zoom into it, and then we're going to want to go ahead and add a collider to it. Let's just go with a box collider. Let's pull it up. So let's go ahead and adjust X just a little bit. We just want to bring this in just a hair more. There we go. 0.05 is maybe a little small, so let's bring that up to 0.07. 0.7 looks pretty good. And then we'll just go ahead and apply the settings to the prefab and get rid of that one. And then we'll drag droid 2 out here and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and add component, box collider, and we're going to bring the box collider's center more towards the middle, and then expand that just a bit. Um, that will be about where his arms are when he's animated. bring it down a titch. There we go. And then maybe expand Z just a little bit to give a little more depth. Maybe not that much. Let's give 1.5 a shot. Yeah, 1.5 is good for you. So let's go ahead and apply that. And there we go. Now let's get rid of droid 2 because we don't really need it on the screen right now. 
But for the moment, we're, we're good to go. Our droids are ready for use. So let's go ahead and save. And then we're just going to update our collab. So added the droid class. Publish now. And we're up to date. In this video, we've created our droid class and set it up for use in our Pocket Droids Go game. The next step is going to be to get these populated in the world somewhere, somehow. And I'm excited to show you how to do that. So let's keep moving forward. This is Ben with devslopes.com, and we'll see you next time.